Welcome to another Stardew Valley video. This is just a fun little video I wanted to make. I will just be showing you the most expensive items in each category and how to easily get them. Let's start off with metal bars. Back in the day, iridium bars were the best bars to sell in the game. If you had the blacksmith profession, you could sell iridium bars for 1500 gold. That is a decent amount. I mean, challenge runners mostly grinded for iridium bars because it's just so profitable. But now, there is a new king of metal bars. The radioactive bar. These bars sell for 3000 gold each and they are actually quite easy to grind. It might seem odd, but grinding radioactive bars and selling them is an incredibly efficient way to make gold in this game. I was able to grind 42 radioactive bars in a single day. And since there aren't that many uses for radioactive bars in the game right now, I just sold them because why not? Those 42 radioactive bars managed to make me 120,000 gold in a a single day. That is almost a million gold a week. Grinding for radioactive ore is quite easy. Just cycle the first floor in the dangerous versions of the regular mines on a good luck day with luck boosts. Radioactive bars, good stuff. But what about crops? There are so many different crops to choose from, but which one sells for the most? Now, that's an easy one. Sweet gem berries sell for between 3000 gold for regular quality and 6000 gold for iridium quality. 6000 gold for a single sweet gem berry is a good amount. Even though they take 24 days to fully mature, 6000 gold is uh, worth the effort. But getting iridium quality crops isn't that easy. Easy, right? Actually, there is a trick to have a 45% chance that every crop you harvest will be iridium quality. Let me show you how. First, you will need to craft deluxe fertilizer. You can buy the recipe at Mr. Key's Walnut Room for 20 key gems. Deluxe fertilizer is quite expensive to craft, one iridium bar and 40 sap will get you 5 deluxe fertilizers. It is expensive but it is worth it. You'll see. Then you'll need to cook a farmer's lunch using kiss seasoning usually farmer's lunch will give you a plus three bonus to your farming with kiss seasoning it will give you a plus four bonus to your farming skill then plant all of your crops with the fertilizer after all of your crops have fully matured eat the buffed up farmer's lunch and harvest all of the crops it is very important that you are on level 10 farming with the buffed up farmer's lunch, you will be at level 14 farming. This high farming level in combination with the deluxe fertilizer will give you a 45% chance to harvest a gold quality crop and a 55% chance to get an iridium quality crop. This method of farming is quite expensive, so you should only do this on sweet gem berries because those are the best selling crops in the game. This is what a full greenhouse with gold and iridium quality crops sell for. As you can see, it's a ridiculous amount of gold for a ridiculous amount of effort. Fishing is quite important in Stardew Valley. First, you will need to do quite a bit of fishing to complete the community center. Fishing is also the best way to make money in the early game. This gold is mostly made with large quantities of cheap fish. What we are most interested in is the big expensive fish. The legend is the most expensive fish in the game. The regular quality legend sells for 7500 gold and the iridium quality legend Legend sells for 15,000 gold. But there is a problem. You can only catch one of each legendary fish, meaning you can only make this big gold once. Thanks to the latest 1.5 update, this problem is no more. There is a new special order request called extended family. When this quest is active, you can catch a different variation of each of the legendary fish again and as an added bonus this quest is repeatable so you could catch the legend 2 sell him for like 10,000 gold then when you get the quest again you can catch him again and sell him again since you can catch these legendary fish over and over there is no real reason to keep them meaning you can sell all of these legendary fish if you wanted to making you a decent amount of gold 
every single time. I just love that you can re-catch the legendary fish. But now, it's time to talk about the highest selling wine. And I'm sure you guessed it, it is Iridium quality starfruit wine. Now, I won't lie, actually making starfruit wine takes a lot of effort and a lot of time. But since each Iridium quality starfruit wine sells for 6,300 gold, it's kind of worth it. First, buy some starfruit seeds from Sandy in the desert. The seeds cost 400 gold each, but they will make your money back, guaranteed. Starfruit only grows in summer, so to make life easier, just grow them in your greenhouse or on your ginger island farm. Starfruit will take 14 days to grow. After your starfruit has fully matured, harvest them and place them in kegs. After 7 days, you will have starfruit wine. Starfruit wine sells for quite a bit on its own, but we only want the best. So now we should age them in casks. You can only age wine in casks and you can only place casks in the basement of your house. You are kind of limited in how many casks you can have and as a result, you will be limited in how much wine you can age at a time. This is where it gets very tedious. It takes 56 days for your starfruit wine to fully age into iridium quality. That is two entire seasons. To make sure you have the most possible amount of money, make sure you are using the artisan profession that you unlock at level 10 farming. Then simply sell your iridium quality starfruit wine and, you know, be rich. It'll take a lot of effort. But don't you just love seeing these massive numbers? I sure do. Next up, slime eggs. Once you have crafted the slime hutch, there will be a 1% chance that any slime you defeat will drop a slime egg. Green slime eggs sell for 1000 gold, which is not very impressive. With the latest 1.5 update, you can now get a tiger slime egg. Tiger slime eggs sell for 8000 gold each. That's a lot of gold and they are not that difficult to find. You can only find tiger slime eggs by, you know, defeating tiger slimes on Ginger Island. A 1% drop rate might seem very low, so make sure to always use a burglar ring when you are looking for slime eggs. Burglar rings will double your chances of getting items from defeating enemies. You can get the burglar ring by slaying 500 dust sprites in the regular mines. This also works with purple slimes in the skull cavern. Purple slime eggs sell for 5000 gold each, so it's not quite as good as tiger slime eggs, but it's something. Prismatic shards. Why on earth would we sell prismatic shards? There are so many better ways to use prismatic shards. I would recommend against selling these things. If you do sell a prismatic shard, it will make you 2000 gold each. If you have the geologist profession, they suffer 2600 gold. Either way, it's probably not worth it. In the gems category, I would rather recommend duplicating diamonds using the crystallarium and selling those instead. Even though they sell for less, they will definitely make you more money, mostly because it's much, much easier to get a bunch of diamonds compared to prismatic shards. I recently made a video about how you can farm prismatic shards. Give it a watch if you are interested. Fish ponds are not just a fun little gimmick. If you fill up a fish pond with lava eels, you can get between 1 and 3 lava eel roa every single day. You can then turn these lava eel roa into H roa. With the artisan profession, each H roa will sell for 1064 gold. It seems insignificant, but over time, it actually is a very reliable source of money. The fish pond also has a chance to give you 5 spikes eels and spicy eel is probably one of my favorite things to bring with me to the mines it's just a nice added bonus and that brings us to the end of this video. There are a few interesting items, but there is no reliable way to get these items, so I decided not to include them. This is a list of all of the most expensive things you can sell in the game in order of price. Please let me know if I missed anything in this video in the comments below. And as always, I will see you in the next video.